Alright, what is this? Hello everybody, Steve from Stesdix Fix, and in this video I have this Vax steam cleaner, which was given away on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so it was free, uh, and I've just managed to pick it up. Now apparently it's got a problem with the pressure, as in it's, well it's supposed to, you know, pump steam out, but it, it's not doing what it should do. Now I have quickly tested it. And indeed, yes, it's not. There's not a great deal of steam coming out of it. Um, so you can see it powers on okay. We've got the red light. Uh, sorry, just for reference, this is the... Uh, what model number is this? S85CM. But I imagine this is quite a common problem with these things. If they've been in storage and, you know, for example, they've been put in the loft or the shed and water's been left in them, especially in hard water areas, I can imagine that it does it does clog these things up. So I'm just going to let that heat up and we'll, uh, we'll just give it a test and just see exactly what it's doing. You can see here the stuff that's coming out of it. Now this has got clean water in and we've got these sort of black deposits coming out. Now I picked this up last night and we ran some, um, some descaler through it. Because I thought it would just be as easy as that. So I ran the descaler through it. And a lot of this black stuff. You can see it's still dripping out. Has already come out. As you can see. Let me look at the state of that. So I imagine. You know there's bits everywhere here. That it's just completely clogged up inside. With this black deposit. Uh, so that should be at full temp fully uh, heated temperature now. So let's just test it there you go there's there's a little bit coming out but it's meant to be a lot more powerful than that and it absolutely stinks you can see the stuff coming out it's actually going all over my lovely white um Hope it's not going on the camera. Uh, it's, it's literally going all over the um, the silicon mat and all over the white table. So I suspect that inside this it's going to be an absolute mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to have a look inside. Kind of in. Right, so we've got this is obviously the reservoir here, and then it goes through this tube here. I can see inside here all these tubes, this they're clear. Can't see any residue at all. The the motor is here, the pump, sorry. Um which will then feed it through down here and into this chamber at the bottom now I'm guessing it's this chamber that's full of that black stuff um, so I guess I'm gonna have to try and get that out Okay, wow, it wasn't easy to get out. Right, so see some screws on the bottom of this thing. Yeah, still hot. It's been unplugged for ages. Wow. Hopefully you can see that. It's I don't know what it is, but it is everywhere inside here. Now I'm guessing 
should be able to clean that up. I should be able to clean up inside here, but it must be blocked here. So it comes out of here. That is a very teeny tiny hole for it to escape from. So that is blocked and yeah, it's uh, I'm going to need a, a thin needle, I think, to push down there and try and free that up. I wonder whether I could have just done that from here, but it's... It, no, it still needs cleaning out inside. This is... because it's just going to block again. So, I'm going to try and clean these up and I'm going to find a thin needle and I'm going to try and clear this... this hole from the blockage as well. Wow, it's... There's a lot of resistance there, it's pretty solid. I'm not even sure this pin's long enough. A slightly longer needle. Still not sure it's going to be long enough. But I don't have anything bigger. Alright, managed to get the needle all the way through now. So, I'm hoping that that's now clear. Yeah. Moves freely in and out of there now. So, with this bit, I'm going to go and give this a scrub in the sink, I think. Uh, rhymes. Um, and in here, I'm just going to get a cotton board Q-tip and just see if I can dig out as much of that as possible. I don't fancy undoing all these connections. Um, and I think that should be okay. So I'm going to go and do that now. It's not going to change colour. I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. So I think all the deposits have sort of been cleaned away. These they don't look great, but it's you know there's no there's no black bits in there anymore. This nozzle is clear. I can actually see through it now. I can see right through. You probably can't on the camera, but I can see right through there into into this chamber. Right. I can see that there's still some inside here, as you can see there. So I'm going to go and give this a clean in the sink as well. All right, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to try and put it back together again now. And I'm going to, I'll probably give it another flush with some descaler just to, you know, flush out any of the remnants. But first of all, let's put it back together if we can. Easier said than done. I think it's like that. Yep. Where did that rubber seal go? Aha! Right, time to test it. Oops. Yeah, the water's supposed to go in the thing, Steve. Say that <laughs> say that works. Yep, 
Yeah, I'd say that works. I just hope I haven't damaged my camera. <laughs> Oh, oh, more black stuff. <laughs> this is good. I'm cleaning my silicon mat as well at the same time. I just hope that's all of the black stuff now. I hope it's all come out. Well, I'd say that was fixed. So I'm really pleased with that. It was actually pretty straightforward and it was quite difficult to take apart, to be honest. Getting to that chamber at the bottom um, was a little bit tricky. But it's, it's definitely possible. So if you've got this problem and just sticking a needle through the nozzle doesn't clear it which it definitely didn't in this in this instance i mean you can see all the stuff that came out of it i've got you know several tissues filled with this black stuff um so if it gets into the, that sort of state then i think your only option is to take it apart and clean it like i've just done but you know if i can do it then anyone can do it so it's, it's a fairly straightforward thing at the end of the day. It's just a few screws. So hopefully it'll help someone out if you've got the same problem. You know, give it a go. See how you get on. Don't throw it away. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button if I helped you out in any way. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.